Wait, is this old? No. Okay. Uh, so he and his wife Shannon have two children, Cohen and Baylor. And um, Mark's burning desire is to create innovative spaces that ex exceed customer expectations. Something that no one knows about uh, Mark is that he originally went to Colorado State University for criminal justice, but quickly changed to construction management. I think that was a smart decision. It was decision. easy. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and keys to success are um, that his team of contractors and vendors uh, that he coordinates specifically with for each project and creative design ideas are the keys to success. So take it away, Mark. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it. So Terra Custom, my dad named the company after my mom uh, 27 years ago. And so uh, that's kind of the history of the company. We started small and uh, we've grown to what we are today. So uh, we are the Colorado, Colorado's premier design build general contractor. So a little bit about me and my family. I met my wife at CSU 12 years ago. I don't know why she kept talking to me after that first day, but she did. And uh, she ended up giving me Cohen and Baylor. Cohen's six and Baylor is three. Uh, Baylor is a uh, so extra, it's not even funny. She has a purse, a tiara, glasses when she goes everywhere. So it's really funny. Cohen is my little buddy. Um, he just started wrestling this year. Be still my heart. <laughs> I, I wrestled my whole life, so it's just, our Saturdays are wrestling um, tournaments all weekend, so it's just awesome, it's my favorite. Um, and then, that's kind of them together, but that kind of embodies them. So my favorite things to do are incline. Um, why the heck do I do the incline? I do the incline with my dad. That's my uh, number one reason. It's a lot of fun with my dad. Uh, number two, this was January 1st. It was snowing when we got to the top. It sucks, right? It's hard. It, it's grueling. But when you get to the top, <laughs> when you get to the top, sometimes you get pictures that are just too good for words. We live in a gorgeous city. And uh, that's what we want to bring to Colorado. So. Something that makes us different too, I wanted to show you a scope of work that we get, send out to our clients. This scope of work has allowances in it. So when we design and build, I don't want to shoehorn somebody into a design or a price that they don't want to be in. So we give allowances to show the client what price I have them in at for certain items, and then it helps us uh, through the material selection phase, and it's just completely open book, transparent. Then we just put a material selection form together so that they know exactly what they're getting in each room and each finished product. All right, so I was in Vegas last week at IBS. It is not a uh, irritable bowel syndrome conference. <laughs> but there were plumbers there. So, um, <laughs> no, it's the International Builder Show. <laughs> Just kidding. It's the International Builder Show. It happens once a year, and it's to show off the latest, greatest innovation in home design and technology. They always do a new American home, which is one house a year that they get to show off all the products in one location so everyone can go to see it. This is called Vegas Modern. So it's a modern house, but they brought a lot of natural products into it so it doesn't feel contemporary. A lot of people don't like contemporary. So I wanna kinda of explain through this house a little of what you guys should be seeing when you look at houses and design, the things that I see and that we implement into homes. So right here is the entry to the home. They pushed the entry all the way to um, almost the back of the house so that when you walk into the house, you already feel like you're in the middle of everything. Plus it's a covered entry, it's an awesome entrance to come into. The floor to ceiling glass panels bring a lot of daylight into the house without a lot of heat. Las Vegas gets a lot of heat, right? Mm -hmm. So they extend the roof uh, out past the exterior wall more than we do here in Colorado. And that is to bring the daylight in but keep the sun, the heat from the sun out. So it's called passive cooling. So that's a design element that's put into the house early on to help keep the house cool, but light at the same time. When we come to the master bedroom, these are floor to ceiling glass panels. They slide all the way into the wall, so you have interior, exterior, seamless living, okay? This is a cool element in the corner here. It's a corner fireplace. So that's just one of those cool things that's out that you can implement into a house. But we have to know that when we're designing to bring it there. Plus, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the master bed. It's floating. So the way that they achieved this was by a steel frame. So the steel frame runs under the bed, down the wall, and then back through the floor system. But you have to engineer that into the house. You have to know that that's where you're going when you're designing the house in order to achieve this. You can't just buy this and bolt it on the wall. <laughs> 
into the kitchen, they did an insanely bold countertop. That countertop has a lot going on. It's a natural granite. But to, counter, to balance that, they did a super simple, clean backsplash. It keeps the eye on what you want to keep the eye on without your eye getting tired throughout the space. They also incorporated seating into the island. It's completely out of the way, but it kind of gives you a nice little seating eat-in bar instead of overhanging the back side of the bar. This is also a cool design element. Each one of these treads looks like it's floating on the wall, like somebody just attached it. There's a steel frame that runs up through the wall and then up the other side to the second floor. So that has to be, again, engineered and designed into the house before you build it to achieve this look so that it looks cool, right? So um, when we come into the bath, instead of just doing a nice clean hex tile on the wall, they offset that with some 3D hex. It's metal and natural stone on there. So that gives your eye a nice clean line to look down, giving a great design element with bringing those natural products into the space instead of just a, a normal design eyeliner across or a stripe. This is the tub. This is a lot of the way the plumbing fixtures are going now is flat, flat colors. So flat white, flat black, but the chrome fixture, can you kind of see how it's disappearing into the, into the space there? It just makes it feel a lot more open having a chrome fixture there. This is a show garage. Um, this was what I was kind of drooling over. Yeah. But it's a lot of really cool cabinets in here. Three TVs, come on. What, a kegerator, a wine fridge, what more could you want? They had to bring the Lambo in there and the body. But, okay, so over that, what I want you to focus on is these glass garage doors. These are clear glass garage doors, but they're mirrored from the outside so nobody can see in. It's a very nice show garage, so from your office you can see into the show garage. Um, so you might want to not put your Subaru in there if you have it. Yes. Another thing I want you to notice is they dropped a soffit for the garage door. You don't see the track. The garage door comes up and goes into the soffit. So even when it's closed or open, you don't see the track. That's another design element that has to be in there. Okay, then this is kind of the showroom. So these are kind of the newest, latest, greatest things that are out there. Nice, clean, modern. I don't necessarily like this style myself, but it's really clean, contemporary. But I like that they offset it with wood. It brings that wood natural feel to it, so it doesn't feel so New York or contemporary throughout the space. Again, we saw a lot of kitchen seating. This is a natural granite uh, that's just made into a table for island seating, just like they did here in the modern home. Hoods. So instead of having a, a nice copper hood, they put some white, flat white uh, detail at the bottom so that it doesn't look Mediterranean or traditional. So it's kind of keeping it modern, but still with those old world looks. I talked about this a while ago. This is an integrated cooktop. So that means you can design anything you want. If you want two big burners, two small burners. If you want the controls on the side, the front, wherever on the island, put it wherever you want. You can incorporate anything into an integrated cooktop island. It's not one piece. Refrigerators, again, flat colors, flat black, flat white. Different color um, handles, titanium and uh, brass. You can even get stone veneer on your refrigerator. Now, this, this, just to talk cost on this, this is a wine cooler in the middle, so get rid of that and nobody has that, right? So if we just have a side-by-side -side yeah. fridge and freezer, that fridge is about 10 grand, where sub-zero is 15. So you get this look, but you don't have to go sub-zero you know, that high end. This is a pedestal sink. This is flat white again, but they have a wood front on it. So in a powder bathroom, this is just one of those statement pieces that you can get, $300 for this sink. This is one of my favorite products in here. It is a high arc faucet, but it goes from rose gold, transitions to titanium at the bottom. I have no idea how they do this, but that is one of the coolest things I saw at the show. Kohler makes that. Um, and then another one is we're doing a lot of five by 10 sheets of porcelain. That is porcelain. Mm -hmm. That's not marble, that's not granite, it's porcelain. So it comes in at a great price point, a lot less than granite, marble, porcelain, whatever. That's the same thing, porcelain. Is that a floor? That is a floor. So not only can you do a bathroom floor or shower walls without having grout lines, but you can also overlay old crappy cabinets with this porcelain and it looks like natural wood cabinets, it, it's, or natural stone cabinets, I'm sorry. And last, one of my favorite things there was stick wood. So this is a company that shears 
uh, barn wood into a 3 16 of an inch. So it's a plank that's 3 16 of an inch thick. They put 3M adhesive on the back so you can peel and stick it on the wall. Okay? So it's a do-it-yourself barn wood. But it's real barn wood. So that thickness allows it to, oh gosh dang it. That thickness allows it to be flexible general contractor and uh, look for us in 2020 we're going to be doing a parade of homes house up in Walden it's going to be Colorado modern with a lot of these ideas incorporated into it Mark Rising Terra Custom okay.